Hey folks, Chris Brannick for the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com here in the Oklahoman studio with you again today. Joining me, Energy FC head coach Jimmy Nielsen. Coach, how are you doing today? Very well, thank you. Good. Of course, the victory over the Seattle Sounders FC2 this weekend, a 2-1 to one victory, some late dramatics, and we're here to talk about the match today. So Taft Stadium, the home opener, finally gets to play at Taft, but as soon as the teams are ready to play, lightning strikes, and you gotta you gotta go back to the locker room. So, so what did that do for the team? What did you tell the guys when they when they went back in? No, that absolutely became a mental test for for everyone, for for all the players. You know, they built themselves up to to a kickoff at seven o'clock, and we gave the last pep talk just just before they were going on the field, and you know, literally five seconds before he had to to kick off the game, it got called off, and you know, it became a little ugh. But, uh, you know, I think the players handle it very well. You know, I told them just to relax and, and chill out and uh, we'll prepare again, uh, you know, whenever we had an update. And thanks God, it was only 45 minutes delay. And uh, I think uh, my team uh, handled the situation extremely professional. Yeah, and it wasn't too big of a delay. 45 minutes, it, it, uh, that wasn't so bad. And both teams come back out, you get the game started. You know, everyone's trying to get going, get a feel for the game, for the field. Uh, 30 minutes in, uh, Evan Newton makes a save, but the ball deflected out right in front of him, and, and Seattle got the first goal of the game. So what, what happened there? What, what did you talk to Evan about, about that uh, opportunity or missed opportunity? No, in, 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 in that situation, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that he will save that uh, almost 100 out of 100, but this one here he missed, and, you know, you got to let it go and, and focus on the next situation, and he's an experienced goalkeeper. You know, I was not nervous about him at all, you know, it's more a younger goalkeeper who, who, who tend to fall out of a game and, and he got the experience and, you know, it happens. We all make mistakes and he obviously made a mistake there, but I think he bounced back uh, outstanding. And, and your team did too. Usually uh, you go down 1-0 and, and, and you're kind of anxious to see where the game goes from there. Uh, but it wasn't. It was only five minutes later when, when you guys have an opportunity to score again. It was, and, and, and when they scored the goal, I felt we had momentum as well. Uh, you know, I was exci excited about our reaction. Uh, I think we, we bounced back extremely well. Um, we, didn't, we didn't fall back or we didn't get nervous, we didn't get shaky or anything. You know, they kept doing what they were doing in that moment, and uh, I think well deserved Chewy got a goal. Yeah, in the Oklahoman last week, I wrote about each player on the team, just one or two things to know about each guy. And for Chewy Sanchez, who was here with us a few weeks ago, I said he's ready to shoot at all times, and you never know when it's coming. And it's and it could be a, he could just fire a missile in there, and that's kind of what he did. He got a ball from Danny Koenig, and, and he put it in the net. He did. You know, those two have found out a good relationship, and uh, Koenig set it up, and a great left foot in between the legs of a defender, and made it very difficult for the goalkeeper. Great, great finish, and uh, you know, he was at the right place at the right time. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit later. It's not almost half time. Forty-five minute mark. A little bit of stoppage time in the first half. Uh, Danny Koenig again, who had several opportunities on the night, uh, taken down in the penalty box and, and sets up Michael Thomas for a shot at a PK. Uh, why don't you talk about that shot? Yeah, well, unfortunately for him, you know, he got the keeper diving one way and he wanted to, to put it in the other side. Unfortunately, he, he missed it. He hit the post and went out. Uh, again, you know, you make mistakes. But again, this is why I'm very proud of the, the team today with everything we were through during the game. You know, we stayed calm and we kept believing that, that we will win the game. Is, is Michael Thomas the guy that will always take a penalty kick for you? Or does it... You know, I've not decided that yet. Uh, you know, he's been pretty good on, on PKs up till now, and uh, we'll see on Saturday who's, who's in line. Yeah, how is that decided? Because it's a pretty quick... No, front. I'll let them know before the game. Okay. You know, we have the list on all set pieces for their positions, and that's including penalties. So, so Michael Thomas misses the penalty kick, uh, stays one to one. Half times right after that. What did you tell the guys in the locker room? Uh, now having a look at Seattle uh, right in front of you. We had to play faster. Uh, I think it was obviously that uh, Seattle got a little tired from from the game Thursday. Um, my opinion, we we could play faster in first half. You know, pass and move, pass and move a little quicker instead of just standing on the ball. We had to play faster to open them up you know, to, to create the room for, for Chewy and, and, and Koenig. And uh, I think we came out very strong in the second half and the intensity got a little higher as well. Uh, there were some good and beautiful tackles in, in the middle of the, of the field. It was a good fight. 
and uh, I still believe Seattle is one of the, the better teams in, in the league, so we always had to keep an eye on, on their front guys who, who had a lot of speed, but I think the, uh, the defense handled the situation extremely well, and uh, we were well organized, and, and uh, we talked about we wanted to, to win the ball in the middle of the park and do some turnovers. We had a lot of opportunities, but you know, when time comes and, and we get to know each other even more in, in stress, stressful situations, what is each player doing in those situations? I, I believe we have a lot more in us. Yeah. Now, of course, the game ends up two to one. And before we get to the uh, late dramatics, the game winning goal, it was in the 86th minute. So you have 40 minutes of action in the second half uh, that was pretty evenly balanced. So, so what's going on during that? It was, you know, as I said, after the game, I think the, the momentum were swifting back and forth. Um, with us being the, the, the dominating team, you know, they're extremely dangerous on their counterattacks. And uh, I think we had a lot of good possession. Uh, we created some, some good chances. Uh, I think we kept them away from the crazy big chances. Um, and when Danny Koenig uh, scored that goal, there was a big relief for, for the whole stadium, you know. The crowd went crazy and, and we all got very, very, very excited and I'll say the last six, seven minutes, including the overtime, were, were a little long. Yeah, the, It felt long. <laughs> so two weeks ago, Colorado Springs, he gets the goal in the 93rd minute, gives you a 2-1 victory, and then Saturday night again, 86th minute, he's there again, he puts in the game winner. Uh, what is it about his play or in, in that can set himself up to, for those opportunities? Yeah, I think it would be unfair to give him all the credit. You know, I think the, the team have shown they're extremely fit and they keep believing that we can win the game. I think they have a fantastic winning mentality in, in the team. Uh, we'll keep going at them and keep going at them. And when we do that, we will create changes. And he's a forward and it's his job to be at the right place at the right time. And he's very, very good at it. Yeah. Now, so that, that goes down as a comeback victory, being down 1-0 and you win 2-1. Comeback victories have not been something you guys have been able to do with last season, no, so, it's, so what's it's, changed for that? You know, it's here in America, you know, you don't see a lot of comeback victories. Uh, to me, it's, it's also a mental thing, you know, uh, but this team here, they believe in themselves. We know what we're doing when we go on the field. Uh, we know we need each other. We've got to attack as a team. We've got to defend as a team. And uh, it seems like we, we're on the same page and uh, we just got to keep growing. What did you think of Taft Stadium, first game there? Amazing. Amazing atmosphere. Uh, the guys around the, the stadium have done an amazing job. Our organization have done a fantastic job as well. We're set up to create a fantastic soccer environment for not only the players, for, for the fans as well. Uh, there's a lot of people that deserve a lot of credit, and that was a special moment for Oklahoma and soccer that night. Yeah. Now, last year at Pribble Stadium, you guys sold out quite a bit. You got 4,000, 4,500 people pretty often. Uh, almost 7,000 people at Taft. So can you notice the difference with a few more Absolutely, thousand? and you know, it felt like a real soccer stadium, a real soccer environment. Uh, it was a fantastic atmosphere, and the players loved it, the fans loved it. I think everyone uh, at Taft uh, Saturday night had a fantastic experience. All right, so Energy FC gets the win, a 2-1 to victory, and remains the only undefeated team in the Western Conference through three matches. Uh, so looking forward now, Saturday, a short week for you here. You got St. Louis FC coming back to Taft Stadium. What uh, what do you know about them? What do you game plan for that team? Well, I know St. Louis is a very organized team, a uh, decent team, uh, a lot of physical in the team, uh, a lot of big guys on, on the team. And uh, I've seen them a couple of times and see them play a little different. Um, I'm excited about the game, you know. The main focus got to be us. We got to keep momentum and, and use that confidence we have um, not to be too brave. We got to be smart and intelligent on the field, uh, but we got to still improve what we're doing. Now you've said from, from when you were hired uh, to be the head coach and throughout last season and into this season, one of your big things is that you play the game your way as opposed to adjusting to your opponent. So, so what do you have to do to make sure that your team does that? No, I believe in what we do is the, is the right thing to do. You know, there is improvement from, from the Seattle game too. You know, I want us to play faster over a longer time of the game. I know it's not physical, impo uh, it's not physical possible to play that fast in, in 90 minutes, but we've got to pick the moments. 
and I think we're getting very, very smart and very, very intelligent on the field to pick the moment for the high pressure and when we have to drop back. It takes a lot of the guys, a lot of communication on the field as well, a lot of leadership from, from the guys as well. And uh, I think we, we're on the right way. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be exciting on, on Saturday. And uh, we got to put this game here behind us now and, and go forward against uh, St. Louis. Would you would you talk about with your team at all being 2-0-1, uh, no, no losses yet this season? Is it, does that play into anything? No, again, uh, I talked about the, the winning mentality in, in the team. We have a lot of winners on the team. They, they really, really want to fight hard to, to get a win. And uh, sometimes it, it hurts a little bit, but they're going through it. They're fighting through it, and uh, they found a, win, a way to win on, on Saturday. I was very impressed with, uh, with everything that went on in that game, all the challenging we had in the game, you know, the mistake with the keeper and missed PK and delay of the game. We kept focused on, on the game and we wanted to win the game. Is that building character for your team, making things Absolutely better? Absolutely it is, and it's building a lot of confidence, and we know how much confidence means to, to any athlete, so it was a huge win for, for, for Oklahoma City. All right, Jimmy, thanks for joining us today again. My pleasure. Oklahoma City Energy FC takes on St. Louis FC Saturday at Taft Stadium at 7 p.m. Stay with the Oklahoma and newsok.com for all the coverage.